Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to The Broken Budget. Here on my channel, I am focusing on fixing my broken budget so I can live the life I deserve. You guys, I completely fell off the map and I apologize. It's just like, life just came at me fast, but we are back. It's 2023 and we are going to get into this budget, sorry. So as you can see, I am using the budget by paycheck planner from the budget mom. She didn't come out with a new workbook this year. So I purchased the PDF version um, and it's in black and white. I apologize, but you know, we're trying to be cost effective. So I can't believe this is my first video back in months, but we are starting with today's paycheck. I'm actually recording this on 1-2023. So, if you are unfamiliar with me and my channel, I am an all cash budgeter and I used to be a month ahead on all of my bills, but I moved in 2022 and it was kind of downhill from there, but we are working on getting back on track. I made zero progress in my debt. I actually wanted to film a debt confession before I came back, but honestly, it's just a lot for me, but hopefully, you know, keep me inspired and by the end of this month, I will fill my debt confession. But for now, let's start with this budget with me. Now, fortunately for me, today I received a bonus from work. I've been working some overtime, so the amount that I am budgeting today is not my usual paycheck by any means. But we will be budgeting $2,700, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm really excited about it. So. Uh, I'm just gonna try and explain it as I work through this. So for my fixed expenses, I'm just gonna go ahead and write all of this in really quick. And then I'll come back and like write in the numbers. Okay, so we have like my main bills and then we have all of my credit cards, including a firm and youtube is my youtube tv so actually i'm just gonna put let's just change this to subscriptions like my monthly like hbo max and all that good stuff subscriptions thank goodness for erasable pens okay so I am trying to get back being a month ahead on my bills. So we're gonna try this today with my bonus. So um, my rent, I am budgeting $800. So this will, whatever I budget, I'm going to go ahead and pay. I won't be going to the bank and getting cash for it. Actual is the money that I'm going to get from the bank. But that'll make more sense as I go through this. So I'm actually going to pay rent and then internet, I'm going to do, I'm going to stuff $55, which is my entire month of February's bill. Usually I split it in half because I am a month ahead, but I'm trying to get ahead, okay? Hopefully I'm not over explaining. So for my phone, I'm just going to pay my phone bill today. I'm, I'll am i figure out how to get ahead on that another time. <laughs> um, so for upgrade, I'm actually making this payment today. And I'm also going to stuff for next month. Okay, okay, I think, I think it's kind of making sense now. So Mission Lane, I've already paid for the month but we are going to stuff for next month. PayPal, I've already paid for the month. And this is kind of built on, it's based off of like the most current statement that I have. So even though I'm stuffing this, this might not be my actual payment for February. Um, we'll see by the end of the month. Like I said, today's the 20th. I'll probably unstuff on like the 30th or the last, the 31st, we'll see. Credit one, I've already paid for January, but we're going to stuff 69. I have to pay with this check 109 and I'm going to stuff 109 for next month. Sephora, I already have 
the statement for next month. So we'll be stuffing 43. Ulta, I'm gonna make a $49 payment and stuff 49. Capital One. I don't think that amount is right. I have a piece of paper off to the side. Hold on, let me get the correct amount really quick. Capital One is actually 51 that we're gonna stuff. Mm, no, we're gonna, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, because that is actually due like February 1st. But yeah, I make the payments in January, but it'll be for February. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, capital, I have two Capital One cards. So Capital Two, we're just going to stuff 35, Bank of America, 35. Affirm, I need to pay one that is 88 and then to make up for all of February would be 183. My subscriptions, I need to pay for one and we are just going to stuff $100 towards next month's subscriptions. So let's add this up really quick. Um, so 800 plus 76 plus 61 plus 109 plus 49 plus 88 plus 85 equals 1268. And then we're gonna count how much I'm going to get from the bank and actually stuff. 7, 112, 69, 109, 43, 49, 51, 35, 35, plus 183 plus 100 equals, hopefully my math is correct, but that is 9, 59. Now I'm going to total this together because this total amount has to come out of this budget, regardless of how much I'm actually paying or actually stuffing. Like I need to take this total out plus 1268 and we're going to subtract 2700. So that is going to leave me with $473 to do life. So this is moving on to my cash wallet where I do groceries, gas, my beauty, eating out. We're trying to cut back on that. <laughs> Things I need for the home. I really wanna redecorate, but we'll add to that later. And then spending which is like leisure type, fun type things. So for groceries, groceries are so ridiculous right now. Um, I'm gonna go 70 with groceries. We're gonna do, and this is for two weeks. So pray my strength. Uh, gas will do 25, beauty we will do 100. I'm getting my nails done. Like don't, don't look at my nails. Um, and then other things. Eating out, we're gonna be realistic. We're gonna do 60, that's only $30 a week. Home, we'll do $40 in case I need cleaning supplies or anything like that. And then spending, 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 we'll do 50 because my friend's birthday is actually this weekend. So we're probably going to go out and that'll be the only time I can go out and spend extra money. So 70 plus 25 plus 100 plus 60 plus 40 plus 50 equals 345. And we'll subtract the 473 from that. And we will have $128 left. Like I said before, I'm a zero based budgeter. We are going to make something shake with all $128. And I want to announce, actually, let me go grab it really quick. 
I am doing the 100 envelope challenge starting today. Um, and when I end, it will be May 1st. So in case you aren't familiar with the $100 envelope challenge, um, you have 100 envelopes in here and you will stuff from one to 100. And I don't really have a strategy. I just feel like any extra money that I have, I'm going to put into these envelopes, okay? So um, I am going to put $20 into like car maintenance today, just in case something happens. We'll do 20 and the other one, oh, I was about to write 108. Let me erase this. Um, and then I'm just gonna put envelope. Is that, how do you spell envelope? Girl, pull it together. Envelope challenge. We're gonna put the 108. So that will put me at zero dollars. Um, I'm actually going to end this budget with me here. Uh, just because I don't I don't want this to be too long. You know, usually I would go ahead and do the cash denomination breakdown, but honestly, I'm gonna save that for my cash stuffing video, which will be next. I'm gonna go to the bank after this and actually do the cash stuffing, but I just really wanted to do this breakdown and show you how I plan to get ahead on my bills. I'm just taking this opportunity to use this blessing to just get back on track. And I, I'm excited about this envelope challenge. That's what I was saying, sorry. So at the end of it, I will have $5,050, hopefully saved by May 1st, that is the goal. And I'm just gonna try my best. Like I said, I don't really have a target to how many envelopes I'm going to stuff, but definitely check back. I will be stuffing this. Um, as well as doing my cash stuffing, or I might do a separate video. Let me know if you want a separate video for my envelope challenge. But yeah, I will have this linked in the description box down below. I believe I got it from Budgeting Things on Etsy. So check there for any more information. Thank you guys so much for your continuous support. I disappeared for so very long and so many of you guys have joined my community and thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you guys next time when I do my cash stuffing. Have a great day.